Do you play music and you're getting ready to go back to school? Have you been taking advantage of all of those back to school sales that are going on right now? In this video, I'll give you my recommendations on what you should take advantage of. Hi, my name is Liz from Cellomoji.com and I'm here to give you tips and tools so that you can learn how to play cello and music for all those moments in your life. If you are new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. Consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll always be notified of all the new cello emoji videos coming out. So summer is ending and I know that some people are really bummed out by that, but if there's one thing that I always look forward to this time of year, it is all the back to school shopping that is going on. So I know that uh, a lot of us are definitely happy not to go back to school, me included, but I love going into the stores and seeing all of the school supplies and the different displays that are out for back to school. I am definitely a little bit of a stationary junkie, so I definitely enjoy shopping all of those sales. So I will start listing a few of the things that I think you should definitely take advantage of, uh, whether you play music or not, but particularly if you play music, these will be helpful when you go into your lessons or when you go into your music classes if you are taking any of them. Number one thing would be pencils. Take advantage of all those back to school sales going on right now for all those mechanical pencils. Get the pack of like 15 in them and you get such a good price right now for them. There is no such thing as too many pencils. Uh, as a music player or whether you are a student or a professional musician, we always need pencils. And even though I keep going out and buying them somehow, they just get lost in our bags or they get broken. So I definitely recommend stocking up on mechanical pencils right now. Uh, I prefer them over the ones where you sharpen because then you don't always have to worry about like if the tip breaks off, you have to worry about finding a sharpener and sharpening it and gets kind of messy. Uh, we just like using mechanical pencils because they're easy and they're fairly inexpensive. Erasers. Now I know that these mechanical pencils come with the little Little tiny nub of an eraser on the top but trust me when I say those eventually like fall out of the pencil or they get worn away and or they just don't really erase things very well so I usually invest in just a separate little eraser uh, that can help erase all the pencil marks in there or just keep your music looking nice and clean. Notebooks. Now this is really important for uh, any type of music student. Notebooks are good to just keep track of any lesson notes that you may have or anything that your teacher might want to write in as a reminder for assignments during the week. And this is also a really good time to stock up on staff paper notebooks. So those are the notebooks where it's instead of filled of just regular lines, it's actually filled with music staff paper, which is really nice because that increases encourages creativity with uh, anyone who's learning music and plus sometimes it is helpful for a teacher to have the staff paper on hand so that they can write out whatever directions they need. Folders and binders. This is something you're probably already getting for your back to school shopping but I definitely would recommend uh, just having a dedicated one just for music because Inevitably, there's all these Xerox papers and loose leaf papers that come from orchestra or from your private teacher and they all just get jumbled or folded or crumpled or ripped. So just having a nice dedicated place to put them in will be really helpful. Uh, if you do get a three ring binder, perhaps you might even want to put a, a division in them so that you can keep your orchestra school work separate from uh, your private solo work. Uh, so that way it'll just be nice and neat and organized. Headphones. You probably have headphones, but I don't know, maybe they're in a sad state, maybe they're missing like a bud, maybe they're crackling. Right now is a really good time to go out and get yourself a pair of not super expensive ones, just get a pair that you feel like you can use um, because that will just encourage listening to more music. So I think it's a really good time to have it. Plus you can listen to music without having to disturb others. Tech gear. Tech gear in general right now is a really good time to get if you need a new laptop, a new iPad, um, as well as some other tech gear, including music gear. You can go to music sites 
almost everywhere is having a great back to school sale right now. This includes if you are interested in getting an instrument, it could be an acoustic instrument, an electric instrument, it could be amps or it could be gear. Right now is a great time to scour these websites or go to these stores and check out and see what kind of deals you can get for back to school. Next three weekends, um, I know for here it actually already passed here in Texas, but I know that different states have tax-free weekends sporadically throughout the year. This is a really great time to go out and get new concert wear um, if you haven't already. Uh, there is, again, just like pencils, we always need more black clothing because you know, after a while, you know, you wash the black clothing and then it just gets all faded and then it doesn't match with your other black clothing. So it is good just to have some black clothing on hand uh, for the different seasons and if there's a specific orchestra wear or concert wear that they want, it is good to also stock up on these as well. Music accessories. Right now is a great time, again, to scour the internet for all of those music sites such as like Southwest Strings, Char Music, uh, Sheet Music Plus. This is a really awesome time right now to stock up on all music accessories. So if you need more strings, buy strings now. If you need rosin, if you need more rock stops, I always recommend having at least two in your bag. Um, this, uh, mutes, mutes are like one of the fastest things to lose because they're so small. So it's a really good time right now to try to assess what things you may need because again, they're really encouraging this whole like back to school event. This is a really good time to check out all the sales that are going on. Things like sheet music is also on sale. I'm seeing sales for musicnotes.com as well as sheetmusicplus.com um, with shipping. There's discounts on shipping. Um, it's also good to check out if there's some education discounts at these sites. So not every site or every uh, store will have this, but things like the Apple Store, you can totally get things for a discount if you show that you are a student on one of their registered school lists. Um, even some things like if you are working for the state, so say like you're a student <clears throat> but you are working as like a part-time job somewhere in a state university. Um, I know that some phones, for example, some of their phone plans will give you discounts as well. Right now is a really good time to take advantage of the fact that you are a student and you are part of the education system and it's really good to just uh, check out what kind of discounts uh, different companies can give you. Another thing you can check out and you probably might want to get off of Amazon.com is perhaps just an extra battery for your mobile device. As a musician, sometimes it is all about timing and response to gigs that are getting sent out. So you would hate to be stuck with a phone with no battery on it because then you probably would lose the gig or the opportunity if you didn't respond quickly. I got that tip from uh, the mechanic Kane duo. They have a great YouTube channel as well where they talk about different music business ideas. So if you are a student or about to graduate um, and get into the working world, there is, is a really great channel to check out um, because they give you all sorts of helpful tips if you are interested on how to maneuver the music business side of life. I'm going to give you a few tips now of what you should do before you actually go to school. Sometimes these are things we don't quite always think about right away, but these will really ensure that you're going to have a smooth school year with music in your life. The first is to make sure that the status of your instrument is okay. So if you are renting an instrument, you could totally take it to the shop there where you rented it from and just say, hey, can you just make sure my instrument is in good shape and that it's ready to go? Uh, just keep in mind, you know, wood instruments are glued together. So even if you're taking really good care of it, inevitably the glue will sort of fade away and then you might have some seam openings which will cause unusual uh, buzzes or creaks and stuff like that. So taking it to the shop will definitely help you out. Um, if you own your instrument, now is also a good time to check out what other luthiers are in the area um, that can also do the same thing for you. Same thing for your bow. Uh, it is good to sort of think back and ask yourself, when was the last time your bow has been rehaired? Um, has it gone through drastic temperature changes since the last time it's been rehaired? Has it even been a really long time? Um, is the, the hair really thin? These are all signs that you definitely need your bow to get rehaired before the school year. 
Um, and I even put a video up on all about bow rehairing and I'll link that in the description box below so you can check that out as well. Ask yourself, do you have a music plan? So is there any important dates coming up? Are there any goals that you're trying for? Any recitals or competitions or auditions? These are something that it would be good to just sort of get down on paper or in your digital calendar and really just sort of assess and start having a music plan because there's nothing worse than going into a year and just being like, oh my gosh, one week from now I have to do this audition. It really is not helpful for you or your teacher in order to how to get you best prepared for these momentous occasions. If you haven't already done so, please, please, please get in touch with your private music teacher. So this is really just helpful to get in touch with your teacher and touch base um, especially if you haven't seen them all summer long on what is the plan for the school year? Are there any pieces of music you want to learn? Uh, what is the schedule even? Oftentimes teachers really appreciate if you contact them early, uh, they will actually probably give you a better time slot. Uh, usually the ones who are just scrambling around at the end uh, usually don't really get the best time slot that they want. Uh, teachers are just busy. Sometimes they may not get to contacting you actively. So it's really on you to make sure that you're on top of things. Plus it shows the teacher how much uh, proactiveness you have in you and they will really appreciate that. Question of the day, what do you do to get ready to go back to school? If there are things that you do that I haven't talked about here, be sure to list them in the comments below. I would love to see what you think. If you like this video, consider giving me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button below. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.